It's amazing. It's one of your best dishes ever. Honestly, I'm just so impressed. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Today, we're gonna make the classic French dish quiche. Do not feel intimidated. It's a lot easier than you think. I'm gonna show you from start to finish from scratch. Let's get to it. You can split the quiche into three components, the crust, the filling, and the custard. The ingredients for the crust are simple, about two cups of flour, two sticks of softened butter, and about a cup of cold water with an egg. You're going to want to sift the flour first, then place inside a food processor with the softened butter, give it a few pulses to integrate, add about a teaspoon of salt. Beat the egg into the ice water and add to the food processor, pulse until a doughy ball forms. The consistency should be a little sticky, but not too much. Knead a little bit, then refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. Then pull out of the fridge and shape it by hand, flattening it out. Then flatten the rest out with a roll. To prevent the crust from sticking, you want to butter the pie pan. In this case, I used a cast iron skillet. Sprinkle flour over it. Gently lay the pie dough into the pan, gently tucking it. Then poke holes through the crust with a fork. Trim the excess off and set aside. We will cut this into strips for a lattice topping later. Then place raw dried beans on top. You're going to what's called blind bake it at 325 for about 25 minutes. This basically means tempering it in the oven. This will prevent the crust from getting soggy and stay flaky. Cut the excess into strips for the lattice. I made this hot pad out of used whiskey corks. Works like a charm. Now let's work on the filling, which is basically lardons or bacon with onions, mushrooms, and in this case, fennel. Use whatever you want. Saute the bacon at low heat for about 10 minutes, then remove. Then add the onion mixture, saute for 10 minutes, then add the mushrooms and saute all together until caramelized, about 15 minutes, and then set aside. Your basic custard will have about six eggs and a pint of heavy cream. To this, I add crushed garlic which takes it to the moon. Whisk everything together as shown, adding salt and pepper. A bit of Asiago or Parmesan cheese. You're going to shred the Gruyere cheese and keep it separated. Then collect all the elements in one spot and start building with a layer of onion, then bacon, then cheese, Then pour the custard over most of it, and then add another layer of onion, bacon, and cheese on top. I added some regular cooked ham on this one as I felt it needed some reinforcements. The lattice work is optional. If you have extra dough, this is a good use for it. Create it as shown. Then apply an egg wash to any exposed dough. This will give it a beautiful golden sheen. Finally, bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes, then blast it at a broil for maybe four minutes. Enjoy. Moment of truth for Nirvan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. First impression? Yummy. I taste the ham. The garlic is nice. Enjoy it. I'm glad you like it, buddy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Truth. Okay, let's see. Now, I, I asked Andy to make me a quiche. And? and he said, bien sûr, je peux le faire. On va voir. Oh, it already looks amazing. Look at that, right? Mm. How does it compare to France? Nasty. No, it's amazing. It's one of your best dishes ever. Honestly, I'm just so impressed. I can't believe it. When I told you this, Can I, I had very have... little faith. Is it too good for dogs? It's too good for dogs. Oh my God, how dare you? No. You can like my hand. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. So what'd you do today? I went to see the Barbie movie! Hi, Ken! Do you want some? <laughs>